Hello everyone and welcome to another Computer Software Is Your Friend tutorial. Today I will show you how to upgrade to Lion on your Hackintosh. Now what you're going to need to do before you do anything um, in this video is install Snow Leopard and update it to 10.6.8. It is also crucial that when you uh, go to Disk Utility and do the partitions for Snow Leopard that you make them um, in GUID partitioning scheme. Otherwise, it will not work. So now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get the Lion disk. You can get that from the App Store in 10.6.8. And then you can rip it to a DVD, which is what I did. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the DVD into the drive and um, we're essentially going to do the first phase of installation now uh, line is pretty um, it's somewhat straightforward what we're going to do is we're going to run the installer it's going to copy some files to our uh, Snow Leopard drive and then we're going to use a program called XMove to move these files onto another partition and from that point we are going to happily install Lion and hope that it works. So now um, we're going to go and open the DVD. It will show up on the top right corner of your desktop in um, Snow Leopard. So now um, it will open a finder window. And in this finder window, you will double click the install Mac OS X Lion. Now, this is the moment of truth for most people because if it's not going to run on your system, this is the place where it will tell you it's not going to run on your system. I would have preferred to have uh, installed Lion from booting off of the DVD, but as of today, there is no way of doing that. Too bad, so sad. But anyway, um, so here's the Lion installer. Now, as you might have seen if, you, if you've read my Acer Aspire 1 series where I installed Mac on that machine, I actually uh, did an article about Lion on uh, the Aspire 1. Essentially, it doesn't work, and it gives you a very nice, elegant way of saying that it won't work. Right on this screen, it won't even let you continue. It will tell you to quit. So, that's how you're going to know if it's going to work or not. Now, essentially, I do have another article out that can tell you this before you spend the money for Lion. I, I got Lion anyways, because I knew it was going to work on this computer. So now, what we're going to do is, we have Mac OS X Lion 10.7, we're going to click Continue. Uh, we're going to agree to the, to the terms, and we're going to click Agree up here. So now it's going to ask us which disk we want to install to. So it will be installed to Snow Leopard. So now what it's going to do is, it's, again, as I said, it's going to copy the files. And uh, then we're going to use XMove. So now XMove, um, I will provide a download link in the article in the description. And essentially after we're, when we're done, we're going to go to Mac OS X and we're going to use XMove. That's how it's going to look like. Now of course it's also a good idea to have everything that you're going to need um, on here so um, I recommend having MultiBeast or whatever Kex you're going to be using. Uh, MultiBeast works for me for this system but if you're on a much more finicky system and you have like Kex then you're going to need a program called Kex Utility and I mean you can go and look at my article on how to install cats and the download link will be there so without further ado uh, most of the stuff that I'm pointing out now you should have already had to do with Snow Leopard so I'm not going to waste uh, any more time I'm just going to click install so now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to insert my password and click enter and now it's going to download the additional components and then it will restart my computer so no big deal there 
because once it's done, we're going to go to X move. So now, uh, this, it's saying that it's going to take about 23, 22 minutes. So I will pause this video and I will return when it is done. So now it's almost done downloading. And, uh, it should be done any moment now. It says about two minutes remaining. It actually went, uh, faster than, than 20 minutes. I did finish downloading and it's going to restart in a couple of seconds. And now, once you restart, you're going to be, uh, booting into Snow Leopard. Uh, just have you have before. So, uh, there is no big deal about that. So now it's booted into uh, Snow Leopard, and now what you're going to do is you're going to go and find your um, XMove installer. And uh, just before that, um, you may want to actually make a partition for... <laughs> I just realized this now, because I, I already did this prior to making the video. Actually, I made it when I installed Mac in the first place. So, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Disk Utility. And uh, you're going to go to your hard drive where Mac is. And you're going to go to Partition. And you're going to hit this little plus button. It's going to create a drive. And then you're going to edit it. You're going to make it 8 gigs. And uh, then you're going to name it. We'll, we'll name it Lion Installer. And uh, that should be good enough. Uh, 8 gigs should be enough. I'm hoping it's enough. Um, I mean, I don't think they're going to get any bigger than Snow Leopard, and Snow Leopard fit on this 8 gig USB, so. Alright, so, now that this is done, and then, of course, you hit Apply, and then it will be done. Uh, standard Mac procedure when it comes to partitioning drives. And, of course, it's important that you are in GUID partitioning table but uh, again we wouldn't be here if you weren't you would see for yourself you wouldn't be able to select a hard drive at all and it would tell you that it needs to be in GUID so uh, we're going to close this, here's XMove and so now basically um, it's going to move it uh, the files to another partition you could also use an 8 gig USB if you want it's an option but uh, we're just going to use the partition of the hard drive, so we're going to click um, continue. <clears throat> so now you're going to come here and it's going to ask you if you have the retail thumb drive or the app store <coughs> uh, you're going to take the uh, app store I found that burning it was so, um, now what we need to do is we need to um, change the install location to where the installer is actually going to be now this isn't clear in XMove um, but this is exactly how you're supposed to do it. So you change the location and you install XMove to the Lion installer drive that you just created or created at way before you made this, uh, this setup. So now you do continue. And, uh, then it's going to ask you again because you changed the partition. Uh, yeah, because you changed the partition. So now we're going to choose Retail App Store. I wonder if we didn't, what would it do? It wouldn't let us continue. Okay. So now, Line Installer, we hit Install. And uh, we enter our password. And now it's going to run some package scripts.
it restarts the finder and dock, then don't worry about it. And you'll notice in the top right corner the creation of this Mac OS X based system, which is essentially what you're going to be booting off of um, very soon if all goes well. So it's running the package scripts. It says it's going to take about a minute. This certainly isn't a minute. Um, however, it shouldn't take that much longer. Um, it's going to copy some of the stuff that it needs into the Mac OS X based system. Now, based on what I've read, because I did read up before I tried this, it, basically what Xmove does is it not only takes the files from your um, from your from Lion with what it put on your system, it also injects a bootloader, and I'm pretty sure to even put some kecks if I remember right to make sure that the process goes smoothly. Um, now, of course, you will then have the option to wipe out your Snow Leopard, or to upgrade your Snow Leopard, or to install to a completely different partition. Generally, if you keep Snow Leopard and you install over it, uh, whatever drivers or texts you have should remain intact. If you do a clean install, regardless if it's replacing Snow Leopard or uh, being a complement to it, you probably will run into some kind of graphics errors. I will be installing this to another partition because I prefer it to be on another partition. Um, so I probably will run into errors here and there, but I don't think they will be major. But again, um, if they do become major, there's always a fix somewhere. And if there isn't a fix, there eventually will be a fix. Um, <coughs> I mean, the Mac community is going pretty quickly. Sorry, I have a cold. So if I sound a little weird. Um... Yeah, so it's installing um, itself, and I'm going to pause the video from this point, and I'm going to resume when it's done. Uh, it created the stuff that it needed to create, even ejected the uh, the snow, um, the, the lion drive. So, uh, yeah. So now we're ready. Uh, essentially, all we're going to need to do is click close, and uh, when we're ready, we can just uh, restart the computer and install um, Lion from the drive that was created. So you know what? Without further ado, um, I'm probably going to need to put this into another video. So uh, stay tuned.